What would you do if oh, some miracle happened? And we could walk out of here tomorrow morning and start all over again, clean. Faye Dunaway's question to Warren Beatty and Bonnie and Clyde takes on a whole new meeting after the Oscar fiasco last night. Here's Kevin Frazier of Entertainment Tonight. It was a perfect Hollywood ending with a twist starring Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. And the Academy Award. As Beatty opened the red envelope, hesitated, and handed it to his partner in crime. La La Land. For over two minutes as producers for La La Land took their bows and made their acceptance the speeches, the chaos was growing behind them. A stage manager is, is seen taking La La Land producer so Jordan Horowitz's envelope from his hand, while two accountants responsible for counting the ballots are frantically talking to Warren Beatty, and then Horowitz takes the mic. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. The wrong red envelope, labeled Best Actress, seen in this photo, had been handed to Beatty. This is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. It was a televised scene of shock and confusion as Moonlight's cast and producers made their way to the stage. Even in my dreams, this could not be true. But to hell with dreams. I'm done with it, because this is true. There are two sets of red winner envelopes that were carried into the Oscars in briefcases under lock and key by Price Waterhouse Cooper's accountants Martha Ruiz and Brian Cullinan. They are in charge of handing out the envelopes backstage. One set is for presenters entering stage right and one set for those entering stage left. Immediately after Emma Stone won Best Actress Cullinan, standing on the left side of the stage, tweeted out this photo and then handed Beatty the wrong envelope. The Hollywood Reporter's Matthew Bellany. I think that they're really going to struggle to get past this. Um, there needs to be some kind of a fall guy, some kind of accountability here, um, no pun intended. And, and I think ultimately, if I had to guess, I bet the Academy will sever its relationship with Pricewaterhouse. Tim Ryan, the accounting firm's U.S. chairman, said that he spoke with Cullinan at length today, and he added in a statement late this afternoon, he is very upset about this mistake, and it is also my mistake, our mistake. Meanwhile, Scott, no word on whether Mr. Cullinan will be back at the Oscars next year. Kevin Frazier with the story everybody's talking about in our Los Angeles bureau tonight. Kevin, thank you.